A preview, maybe, of what could be coming soon to Canada. Johnson & Johnson's one-shot coronavirus vaccine packed up Monday at this Kentucky plant after the jab was approved for emergency use in the U.S. over the weekend. Here at home, Health Canada is still reviewing the J&J &J vaccine. On Sunday, the regulator's chief medical advisor told the CBC Health Canada is hoping to approve the shot in the next couple of weeks. Already, Canada has a deal to purchase 10 million doses of the vaccine from Johnson & Johnson, with an option for 28 million more. Back to the U.S., <laughs> workers signed the first boxes of vaccines and cheered as one was carried to the loading dock. Well, we think literally within about the next 24 to 48 hours, Americans should start receiving shots in arms. Uh, they're literally rolling out with the trucks as we speak. Appearing on NBC's Today Show Monday, Johnson & Johnson CEO says the company is committed to shipping out up to a billion doses by the end of the year. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine in trials was shown to be 66% overall effective. People have learned by now that Moderna and Pfizer are over 90%. How do you address that perception problem that somehow this might be a second tier vaccine? So when you look at the numbers around the vaccine, the ones that are most important is it works 85% of the time against severe disease and it kept all the patients out of the hospital hospital and from dying, even against these new and really challenging variants. Over the weekend, top U.S. infectious disease official Dr. Anthony Fauci urged Americans to accept any of the approved shots. And people should take the one that's most available to them. If you go to a place and you have J&J &J and that's the one that's available now, I would take it. I personally would do the same thing. I think people need to get vaccinated as quickly and as expeditiously as possible. And if I would go to a place where they had J&J, &J, I would have no hesitancy whatsoever to take it. The U.S. has also given the green light to vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna. Melissa Duggan, City News.